they can do all the tricks they want. All right, everyone. Shalom. I hope I'm heard. People in Rumble, do you hear me? People in YouTube, I hope so. Let me check it out. All right, I think we are live. Everything is good. So, guys, what we will do today is very simple. We will show you how the Muslims are very silly and very stupid. I don't want to use the word stupid a lot because the word stupid cannot explain how stupid Islam is. So this is a Muslim kid. You know, remember once we went to him and I offered him to join him in this, in the, to like, uh, I said, uh, how I can call you and he refused and he asked the admin to ban us, remember? Actually, the video is still a ramble. You can go and download it. So this guy is Jebus Potato. The second he saw my name, he started doing poo-poo in his band. However, as long as he don't dare to speak to me, I, see, I, will, I said, I will call you. You don't need to call me. I will call you. Even though he's just a kid. Actually, in that video, the same video, he insulted his prophet and he said his prophet is from the Mufsidin, which means he is from the evildoer. The video is there. If you don't believe me, go check it out. Anyway, so we will play this video and we will see what this guy is talking about. I hope my voice is coming good and clear for everybody. Is the sound is good, guys? Before we start, is the sound is good for everybody? If there's any echo or anything? Are you okay? There's echo? Ah, okay, hold on. Mm. Give me a second. All right. Yeah, because we don't want to waste time and then you find that people, they were not able to listen. All right. Output is multi-speaker. Okay. Multi-device. And we will try to... Okay. When I'm talking now, do you hear me? Am I heard? People in YouTube, Ramble, Discord. All right, so I eliminated one uh, audio source. Let us see if that will be uh, good. Okay, we continue. I'm, I'm um, applying to the Catholic. You're normal, don't worry. He's not normal. <laughs> okay. I'm yes. applying to the Catholic priesthood okay. to start seminary in about two years. Okay. Um, so this is your, your, your passion in life? Yeah. It's, it's, my vocation from God. Is it okay if I destroy your passion in life? Is it okay? Of course. Okay. The Muslim now, he's going to destroy his passion in life. Yeah. Is it okay if I destroy your passion in life? Is it okay? The Muslim now, he will destroy his passion in life. Let us see how he will do it. Okay. So, so, okay. <laughs> Still a bad audio, guys? Somebody saying it's about audio still, is it? How is the audio a rumble? All right. So the one who's saying bad audio, you look like you have to fix your site. Has a plan for me. But do you see, I want to also say this in the beginning of the discussion. I've not made up my mind. You asked me a question. Yeah. Would you convince me? And since there is evidence, I'll be convinced. Yeah. Is it the same on your position? If I provide you evidence that he is in God, are you going to change your position? No. That means you're not open-minded. So why are you, how can you have a discussion with someone when you've already made up your mind what you believe? That's a good uh, here you see how stupid Muhammadan is. You know, isn't it you and your religion, supposedly, you cannot change your religion? What open mind mean? <laughs> do you agree with me? <laughs> so in his religion, I mean, do you see they are talking about open mind? Are you open minded? So if I prove to you that your religion is false, are you going to leave? But in his religion, the one who leave Islam kill him. So what the word open minded mean? I mean, well, this is very silly and very stupid. You know, if you are asking for open minded, then you have to agree with same conditions. Do you believe that if a Muslim, we convince him Islam is false, it's okay for him to leave? You will say no. So you are being silly from the beginning, even though he is 17 years old, but you are a growing man, but you speak like a kid, open-minded. Well, are you open-minded if somebody wants to sleep with your wife? 
What the word open-minded mean? This is very silly, stupid comment. Use on, I mean, the Muslims, they speak about open-minded, but they have phobia from pork. They have phobia from music. They have phobia from a cross. They have phobia from the Bible. They have phobia from the Jews. They have phobia from the Hindus. They have phobia from the Buddhist. They have phobia even, they have fatwa against Mickey Mouse. Even Mickey Mouse, they want to kill him. A cartoon. And then he says to the guy, are you open-minded? So you're not open-minded. Look who is talking about open-minded. Continue. Point. I wouldn't necessarily make up my mind fully if you were to present so my point. The thing is Catholicism says, okay, of course you should be open minded. But at the end of the day, as I said, the religion I believe, you as much as you try, you're not gonna convince me that Jesus is the Bible says yeah. seek of the truth and the truth shall set you free. Of course. So, you so guys the Bible says seek the truth and the truth will set you free. But how come you don't quote for him that Jesus says, I am the truth? <laughs> and this is supposedly one of the names of Allah. So when Jesus says, seek the truth, he is saying, seek me. Jesus said, I am the truth. Here you see the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. I mean, is it possible that the Muslim, they knew what Jesus says or the Old Testament, but they knew only a verse, they skipped the rest. Same time, how come we don't find this verse in the Quran? What is the teaching of Isaiah in the Quran? Do you have the book of Isaiah? <laughs> what is the name of book of Isaiah in the Quran? <laughs> So a Muslim want to teach us what the Bible is saying. That is very funny. Continue. So you have to say to seek the truth, and also says, "Come, let us reason together." Yes. So you need reason, and through reason you reach it. A Muslim talking about reasoning. So if you convert to Islam, let us reason together. Allah will make your penis endless. And the Hadith is very authentic. And because Muslim, they reason, they believe that there's God will give them eighty thousand little boys to work for them, to serve them in heaven. And those boys are so white and they are like pearls. A Muslim talking about reasoning. I really I admire the reasoning, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so what is the reason Allah will give me all those boys who they are like pearls? At least the lowest reward, Muhammad, he said, is 80,000 boys. The Muslim, they say they will not sleep with them. No, those are not for sex. Those are to serve you. So you are a Abdul, one Abdul. And now you have a child abuse in heaven. You ask the Muslims, who are they those? They say boys. Okay. But why Allah is abusing them? They will be slaves for eternity. So let us reason together. In the heaven of Islam, if we reason together, we find that Allah, he abuse human being. He make women as sex slaves. And Muhammad, he described them as women who have nice breasts and beautiful vagina. And he said that the penis of the man will never go limp. So let us reason together because you believe in Allah. Allah will give you 80,000 men, so 80,000 little youth to serve you and a lot of women to sleep with you. An endless penis. And he said, and a vagina fit for that. And a Muslim talking about, let us reason. Mm. Continue your reasoning. I like that.
the truth and the truth whatever you find that will set you free so if you close your mind on what the reasoning will lead you to and you've already decided you've got the truth then I would say it wouldn't make sense for me to engage with you because then I would be in, in essence wasting my time I'm not saying that disrespect here you know what I'm saying no no but then that means like just for, for the sake of the conversation you know? like, are you actually okay we will see in the conversation I'll have a discussion yes. Let us ask you the same question. What if your religion is false? I want every Muslim to tell this coward, do he dare to debate me? Do he dare? If he say yes, tell him then why when Christian Prince, he went to your channel and I brought with me a couple of thousands of people. Actually, we were just looking who is life and that wasn't intentional. Uh, we saw Zach and Nick. We went there, Zach and Nick, he ran away. He acted as if he did not see me. And then I saw this guy live. So we went there. And the coward, he ran away. So why you are willing to talk to a Christian woman or 17 years old young Christian, but you don't dare to talk to me? The answer is very simple. You know your size. And as long you are talking about, uh, what if your religion is false? That is a good question. What if what we make a debate about it? What if your religion is false? One a question from him, one question from me. What if your religion is false? <laughs> Potato. But that's what I'm saying. The thing is, my religion, so my religion changed back 2,500 No, history is irrelevant. Buddhism is older than you. I'm asking a question. Yeah, of course, it's before you. But I'm asking a simple question now. I'm saying it's true or false. If it was false, yeah. what are you going to do about it? Are you still going to stick to something which is false? I would go and seek religious advice. From who? And why if he doesn't have answers for you? Then I would seek my own spiritual advice and I talk to God. And why if you don't find answers? So are you saying that God will not answer a person? He just commit blasphemy against God. Those Muslims they claim that they pray to Allah and Allah answer them. He just said what if he don't answer? But isn't it the Quran says I mean, by the way, soon we will show you how, how silly, how stupid. But in the Quran, Allah, he says, it is he who guide and he who misguide. So the guy, he said, I will, I will talk to God. He said to him, what if God did not answer you? <laughs> so the Quran lied because the Quran is speaking about all mankind, not only the Christians. Allah must misguide whoever he will. And he guide whoever will. So if this guy was misguided, he was misguided by Allah. And we will show you the verse later. Let us go deep into it. Until now, he is wasting time. I don't know. I thought the video have something useful, you know, but talk. So you're blind. You're, you have blind faith. So what can I do for you? A Muslim talking about the blind faith. A Muslim is talking about what? Blind faith. So the Muslims, they saw Prophet Muhammad when he go to heaven in the top of a flying donkey. This is not a blind faith. Yet the Quran says Muhammad has zero miracles. And we cannot find this story in the Quran. Nowhere in the Quran you can find it. I challenge any Muslim to show it to me. The verse about Isra in the Quran never mentioned the name of Muhammad and this was about Moses. <laughs> So a Muslim talking about the blind faith when he believe that there is a God, he will give him in this penis. Is that a blind face or a blind blind faith or a blind blind penis? Like, do the penis have eyes? It's one eye, right? A Muslim talking about the blind. I mean, look look at the silly stupid. You know, that is a, go go. But why you why you said is the literal definition of blind faith, right? If, look, look, you said you said if I do investigation, I seek everyone, I seek my priest, I ask God, I do everything. In the end, my faith will become stronger. Come, this is this is the definition. Because he is sure, and I don't waste time and prove him wrong.
Live video. Live video. Yes. Okay. Like let's say for example, coronavirus. Okay. Pandemic. Okay. Let me move a little bit because this is like nothing to do with what uh, you know. Let us see. I'm just reading the subtitle and then see when things can get into something serious a little bit. All right. Let us see maybe here. And if that was the true religion or not. Uh, oh, okay, it was the truth. Today, yes. And if that's the true religion or uh -huh. not, uh -huh. then yes, I would. Okay, so this is what we'll investigate now. Okay. And you can see I'm over my right? No, no, I'm not at all. I'll speak to you anyway. Like, so, in the Bible, I think even she agrees you're not open minded. You know? okay, <laughs> like, in the Bible, <laughs> Jesus says, okay, yes. and this is in the Old Testament, and yes. there's actually manuscripts. This is the Old Testament. I just have one comment. I mean, do you see how the Muslim he blur the video? So guys, do the Muslim, they blur their eyes when they are there, and the women in front of him, he blur her. What the point of this blur? You are a Muslim conservative? Who your wife, she gave her breast to do breastfeeding for adult? Do you blur your eyes? <laughs> I mean, do you see how silly, how hypocrite they are? They live in America. Women, they wear, you know, no cover, nothing, you know. Or some they are wearing uh, short clothes or short, and the Muslim he blurred the video because he is so conservative. Are you blurring your eyes? Potato. I mean, you Muslims are the most hypocrite ever. Number one people in the world who search for porn. This is why Pakistan called pornistan. Go search it right now. Sex with dog, sex with horse, rape. Just check it out. See if I'm lying. And he blurred the video. Hmm. That's not true. It's true. Look, I, you can come. I, I, I go to, I, so I started going to Name the manuscript. Oh, no, I can't tell you. So you're, you're making up claims. I'm not Christian. So last Thursday. I can name the manuscript. Do you know what the Alpha and the Omega means? A Muslim, he is talking about manuscript when they don't have even not a single one page. When a Christian priest, he donated, a Christian man, actually, he donated one paper, go back to the time before Muhammad. The Muslim, they went crazy. And by the way, it doesn't even match the Quran they have today. Where is the manuscripts of Islam? The Quran of Sana'a, which is written long after, doesn't match the Quran. Samarqand? A Muslim talking about manuscript. However, if a Muslim were try to talk about my book to be corrupt, he just shot his God Allah in the balls, yet they claim he have none. Because isn't it Allah is the one who sent the Injil? So why you are saying to the Christian guy that the book of Allah, the Injil is corrupted? <laughs> this is actually a very clear reason not to trust so-called Allah because if Allah he said look how many times the word in Jir repeated look at this all those verses saying that Allah is the one who sent the in Jir. look at the verses so if Allah the one who sent the in Jir, and the Muslims are trying to convince us that the in Jir is corrupt they are trying to convince us that Allah is a shish kebab. Anyone can give him a finger and he can change his book. Hold on. I'm a Christian prince. I wrote many books. Can you change my books? You cannot. So I am more powerful than your God. Allah, he sent 124,000 messenger. According to Muslims, only one book left. Based on this, Allah is the worst protector in the world. However, we have tons of reference. As an example, Aisha, she said, the chapter of Al-Ahzab used to be equal to the chapter of Al-Baqarah. So there is more than 211 something verses are missing in one chapter alone. But there is a chapter which I like very much. And no Muslim can tell me the verses. The one about breastfeeding for adult. According to Aisha, I remember the Muslim talking about manuscript. They don't even have a book. 
What is the Quran of Uthman? They don't have it. What is the Quran of Muhammad? Don't have it. So what do you have? What the Muslims have? They have none. Nothing. This is the Hadith saying the chapter. Look at look at the name of the chapter. Guys, look at the chapter name. And he was talking about reasoning. A woman, she have a slave, and her husband is jealous because the slave, he get inside the house always, and she is wearing almost nothing. So she came to the prophet and she told him, my husband is so jealous, for he see what he see. So he said, give him your breast. She said, how am I going to give him my breast? And he is a growing man. Muhammad, he laughed and he said, I know he is a growing, a growing man. <laughs> oh boy. So where is the manuscript? What is the script? Where we can find those verses in the Quran? Any Muslim? Where we can find the verses, Mr. Reasoning, and how that can be reasoned. A growing woman, she is going to give her breast to a stranger. And this is why the Muslim, they have fatwa. You can search it right now. Search for fatwa of a breast for an adult coming from the highest authority in the Azhar University. So Abu Salim, her husband, he hated when he see this guy coming to her, you know, to her. The messenger of Allah, he says, breastfeed him. <laughs> she said, but he have a beard. <laughs> oh boy, he have what? And the guy talking about manuscript. So Abdul, where is the manuscript of the Quran? I want I want a Muslim to bring me to recite for me the verses of a breastfeeding for adult. I want to see it, as you see, Aisha. She said, the verse of okay. Where is the verse of stoning to death? They say to you, it's abrogated by recitation. Who is the one who says so? Your prophet said abrogated. Show me. Is it up to you to delete verses to add verses? You see how hypocrite they are? The whole book is messed up. The verse of stoning and breastfeeding for adult 10 times was revealed, and the paper was under me, and under uh, with me, under my pillow, in, in, in the bed. When the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death, and a time sheep came and ate it. So let us reason together why the Muslim cannot recite to Christian prince the chapter of a breastfeeding for adult and is stoning to death. Reason number one, the goat ate it. Reason number two, the goat ate the sing every single memory of the Muslims. Because remember, the goat, she ate the paper, but did the goat ate the memory of the Muslims? Who in the world want to believe that the goat is the reason not to have this? Obviously, the Muslim, they ate it. They were ashamed of this story, so they decided to drop it from the Quran. The Muslim, they took off this story. You see, show me a proof opposite to this one. Go ahead. Do you see how stupid this cult is? And then they say to you, Manuscript, who is talking about manuscript? A Muslim, Abdul? That's a good one. If you open the Quran, if you have the Arabic Quran, if you speak Arabic, there is a page, it's called page A, A, letter A in Arabic. It says that this Quran is according to the recitation of Hafs. According to, according to, according to, according to, according to, recitation, no book. No book, no book. And Hafs is accused by Muslim to be a big fat liar. This is why Muslim don't even accept one hadith of him. Why? Because he's a liar. Go right now and type in Google, Hafs was a liar. Just type it. 
<laughs> so a Muslim talking about what? He is trying to accuse us that our book is corrupt. But by doing that, he just condemned his God because supposedly this is the God who sent the Injil. And look how stupid the Quran is. When the Muslim, they argue about the Bible. So why the stupid Quran says, hey, Christians, follow the Bible. You have it. You have it between your hands. So let the people of the gospel rule according to what Allah revealed in it. So they have it. Not only if you go and read the verse after it, and this guy, he speak Arabic, and I challenge him to say I'm lying. I challenge every single Abdul in the world who speak Arabic to say I'm lying. It says here, we send down to you Al-Kitab Bil-Haq, Musaddiqan Lima Bayna Yadayhi, believing in what is between his hand. Translation here confirming the scriptures that preceded false. Here in Arabic, it says, what is between his hand? Let us do this. Huh? I, will, I will show you. I will use the translation of Google. Just, just wait. Hold on. Do you see it says in his hands? In his hands. Do you see? I mean, even Google got you busted, Abdul. Let us use Google again and translate the whole thing. <laughs> and we sent down to you the book with the truth, confirming what was before it. Ah, see here, the Google is taking the Muslim translation, but a second ago it was, what is between his hands? You see what the search engine is doing? This is a phrase, obviously, is, is well known. If we go back, look at this. Lima bayna yadayhi. Let us translate. <laughs> For what was in his hands. See? So the Quran, believing in what we have in our hands. Do you see how this stupidity work? Let us continue and laugh more. You want to jump everywhere. No, no. You will make it a claim. No, no, no. no, no, no but, uh, first, you said your name is Gerard, right? Yes. We need to be careful not to interrupt one another, right? right. Look, you made a claim. Yeah. I disagree with you on your claim. Okay. You cannot substantiate it with evidence because you've got no names of manuscript. You've got no proof for what you said. Okay. It's just your word. On the other hand, I can tell you. A Muslim, he is saying, you got no proof. So what the Quran confirmed a second ago? We have tons of verses in the Quran saying that the book of the Christians is a true book. And yet this guy said, you have no proof. You see, this is why when you Christians, you want to debate Muslims, don't waste your time. You have to hit them from their stupid book. Learn. If anyone knows this uh, young man, let him watch my video. If you go right now to the Quran, and we type, that's the word musaddiqan. I will type it as it is. I will copy it from here. Hmm? I will put it in the search engine. No, oh, we copy a letter by mistake. All right. Read carefully with me all those verses. Chapter 2, verse number 89. When a book came to them, believing in what is with them. The stupid Abdul, he just said, that there's no proof that we have a book. This is 600 years after Jesus. And the Quran saying, and when the scriptures came, which means the Quran, came from Allah, confirming what they have. This is even the Abdul translation. <laughs> Let us continue. I mean, do you see the stupidity? He's trying to prove that my Bible is not a true Bible, but the Quran says that it's so the opposite. Chapter 2, verse number 91, it says the same. Here we go. And when they say to them, believe in what Allah has revealed, which means the Quran, they say, we believe in what was revealed to us. And they reject anything beyond that. All right. And then he says, and he is the truth, confirming what they have. Do you see it? Confirming what they have. 
So the Quran confirming again and again and again what we have. Let us continue and love more. Chapter 2, verse number 97. When whoever the enemy of, uh, of Jibreel, I mean, how, how, who is the enemy of Jibreel? <laughs> and why anyone would be the enemy of someone he never saw? <laughs> is it enemy of Jibreel or Allah? Look like Jibreel is their God. By the way, if you ask the Muslims who, what Jibreel means, they don't know. Because Islam is a theft. They stole names, they stole history, they stole stories. This is why if you ask them what Jibreel mean, they don't know. In fact, I'm going to use the word Jibreel later to get him busted more. But look what it says here. Confirming what is with them, not what preceded. Musaddiqan dima bayna yadayhi. What is between their hands? Read it carefully. Here it says, for a fine what was before him. Let me show you something. When, when you take what what uh, what uh, Google is doing is taking like let us say the most popular about this verse in Arabic and give it to you right away. This is AI translation, but the truth is, watch this. I will I will take only three three words now. Look what happened. For what was in his hand? For what was in his hands? In fact, it says, Lima Baina Yadayi, which is in his, his hand. Do you see it? And by the way, if you change the translator, you will find different translation. It depends you are reading translation of who. Every Abdul give you different translation for the same story, for the same verse, because Muslim they corrupt the Quran. For me, I don't believe in the corruption of the Quran because you cannot corrupt something it is not even authentic anyway. When we say corrupt, it's about there's was an authentic thing and there's something is not authentic. There's no proof even that the Quran ever was exist. No proof. Because Muhammad and they have recitation of someone, they claim his name is Muhammad. And there's a huge number of the Muslim don't accept the hadith. Which means no, no one knows who is Muhammad. Okay, who is Muhammad? The Quran is a book of guidance. What the Quran tell me about Muhammad? Nothing. The Quran tell me about Jesus and the name of his mother and the name of his grandfather. <laughs> By the way, according to the Quran, Jesus is the is, is the nephew of Musa. <laughs> and his grandfather is the father of, of Musa. This is why we have a chapter. It's called the chapter of Ali Amran. Why it's called Ali Amran? Because the stupid Muhammad, he think that Moses and Aaron and Mary and Jesus are one family. And the Abdul is talking about what? What makes sense? I mean, we did not even listen to a few minutes and we have, we have a story. Shall we continue? The Elish manuscripts of the Bible, because I have looked into this. Notice here, by the way, he cut the voice. Let me try to play it again. What we are now here at work. So, English manuscript, you've got no proof for what you said. It's just your word. On the other hand, I can tell you the earliest manuscripts of the Bible because I have looked into this. Why he, why he cut the sound? He cut the sound. You look at it. Mm. And you found that the book of Allah is corrupt. Therefore, Allah cannot be God. Mm. Right? So, the oldest you have of the Old Testament is the Dead Sea Scrolls, which is probably what you wanted to refer to. And the Dead Sea Scrolls are nearly 2,000 years separate from Moses. They're written by a heretic group, unknown sources, and it does not have the full Old Testament, it just have... So guys, the Dead Sea Scroll is the oldest one you have. It's 2,000 years after Moses. <laughs> what does this have to do with Moses anyway? <laughs> 
Abdullah, you do not good in the potato, potato. Are you talking about the book of Jesus? You know, the Dead Sea Scroll? I mean, Abdul, supposedly he will make it farther now. He says 2,000 years from Moses. <laughs> Supposedly, this is so far, so far. <laughs> Why you don't say 5,000 years from, uh, from Adam, brother? That will make me more convinced. I mean, the Muslims, they have the recitation of house, which came 200 years after Muhammad. A guy did himself accusing him to be a liar. Didn't have a single manuscript, a single. You know what single is? And he's talking about a book is the most preserved in the world, even the enemies of Islam. Do you remember the guy with his name, Borat? When he brought by this guy, uh, uh, Mimi Hijab. Mimi Hijab, Im imagine how desperate they are. They brought this guy, Borat, who he hated Christianity. And the purpose of this is to use him to attack Christianity, right? I mean, imagine how they are united, the Antichrist the devil Muhammad and his followers, and the devils who hate Christianity from the atheist, they join together forces, let us bash Jesus, let us bash the Bible, let us, and what they get from that, they get the opposite. This guy, he said, I am sure that Jesus was crucified and he dead and buried. He's very sure. So the whole story in the Quran is a fabrication. So the Muslims, they brought a guy to witness against Christianity, he witnessed, in fact, against Muhammad. Let us continue. Majority of Isaiah, and he has a lot of things that Christians reject. Yes. So it's not a Guys, the Christian reject a lot of things in Isaiah. I never heard of a Christian he reject any word from Isaiah. I want this potato to call me and show me where the Christians who reject the book of Isaiah. Guys, have you ever heard? So if we reject what is in Isaiah, so why we have it in our book? I mean, do you see how they lie? The Christian, they reject a lot of things in the book of Isaiah? Since when? It is you who don't even have the book of Isaiah. <laughs> he Muslims, if Isaiah is a prophet, where is his book? Is that because you reject all his book, you throw it away, and your God is not the God of Isaiah, obviously. Shall we continue? Or enough for today? And we continue tomorrow, so we make it short, so people, they can download the video and expose this potato. What do you think, guys? But that will make the video really long, you know. Let us make it short so people they can download it. Like already now we have how how, how many minutes? I'm not sure how many minutes. Uh, I will try to come back again and we continue. You know, I will I will preserve the time in here. It is in the minute 20, uh, sorry, in the minute six. Uh, 22 all right so we can expose him more and more no no it's not about taking coffee break no this is not my production uh, even you know by the way you remember yesterday i finished my broadcast at night god is my witness at, at this was after the middle of the night i have my my lunch for the day before you know so I'm a kind of person who can stay, I can, I can stay 24 hours, even sometimes 48 hours without even eating. It doesn't even give me a headache. But this is, I'm not taking a break, no. But I want to give a chance for people uh, to download the video, share it, and make titles about them one by one. And then we continue. I mean, we have time. Are we in a rush? To make it easier to download. Many people, they claim that my video is so long, and they don't have time to watch it all. So let's make it short. And then we continue next time I go. Maybe tonight. We will see. If not tonight, maybe tomorrow. All right? Very good. I'm willing to take one Muslim for a snack before I go. Do we have any Muslim who would like to join us? If there's any Muslim, 
he is excited to get me busted about what I said. You see, I'm not like those Abduls. If there's any Muslim would like to get me busted about anything I just said in the previous 20 minutes, anyone? Any Muhammadan? By the way, if you come to the mic and you get me busted, do you, can you imagine how big the penis of uh, Allah will give you will be? I mean, all Muslims, they will have a penis, it's endless, but remember, Allah, he never speak about how thick it is. So imagine, Muhammad, he claimed that a Muslim, he will be 90 mile tall, but his one arm wide, that is a macaroni. So imagine you are 90 miles and the women, she will be 30 miles. I mean, why the women is so short? Spaghetti, Mary, macaroni? So you are 90 mile tall with the width of an arm. And now if this is you in the width of arm and you are 90 mile, now your penis is in this. So if you are a macaroni, how thin is your penis? So if you debate me, may Allah make it more thick. Because I mean, macaroni is easy to be cut off by anything. Especially if it's being cooked by Christian prince. And the Muslim is speaking about, let us reason together. <laughs> I am really, admit, I really, really appreciate the, the reasoning of the Abdul. I'm really, really, really. I mean, this is the religion of reasoning. Look who is talking. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. I will try to be back to that tonight if I can, could. If not, tomorrow for sure. God is good. Don't forget to download the video. Share it everywhere. And let us get those potatoes busted. They think they can, they can fight Christianity. When we have all the laundry of Muhammad, a Muslim, he have no chance. We have his condoms. We have his panties, we have his diaper, we have everything. You have no chance, Muslims. And you know, when you're Muslim, you claim our book is corrupted. That is a clear proof that Islam is false. Why? Because if our book sent by Allah, as you claim, then what kind of a stupid God he allow his book to be corrupted? And then the question should be, and I want every Christian to remember this question. When a Muslim, he says to you, the Bible is corrupted, ask him a very simple question. Was it corrupted by the will of Allah or against the will of Allah? If he say, Muslim, they claim that everything happened by the will of Allah. Go check it out. If he say by the will of Allah, that means Allah is the one who corrupted. So what's our problem? If he say against the will of Allah, that means Allah cannot protect something who he made a will to protect. Either way, the Muslim is doomed. Do you understand what I just said? Either way, the Muslim is doomed. If he say against the will of Allah is doomed, if he say by the will of Allah is doomed. By the will of Allah, that means Allah is Satan. He is the one who make it corrupt. If he say against the will of Allah, that means Allah promise is false and Allah cannot be God. He is trying to protect it, but he failed. So which one you choose? Any one of them will make your God look so stupid and so fool. And Muslims, I am a Christian prince and your God, he fear me. And your prophet, when he hear my name, he run the same when he heard the voice of Jibreel. According to the Quran interpretation, when the prophet was doing poo he heard the sound or the voice of Jibreel. And Jibreel said to him, O oh Muhammad. Muhammad, each time he hear the voice of Jibreel, he flee. If this is your prophet who received Quran during the time he is doing poo and he flee from hearing the voice of someone, supposedly he heard him a thousand times already. Read carefully. The Messenger of Allah. Allah bless him and give him peace whenever he went out, which means to do shit. But remember, this is a holy shit. He used to hear someone calling him, Oh, Muhammad. And whenever he heard this, he used to flee. 
Is that why Muslim you flee from a Christian prince? Is that how your prophet he received the most popular chapter in the Quran, Al-Fatiha, while he's doing shit? Is that where the word holy shit came from? Obviously it is. No shit. And then there is a Christian guy, his name is Waraka. He said to Muhammad and he advised him, look Muhammad, he received advice from who? From the Christians, not from Allah. Waraka ibn Ufar, he said, listen, Khabibi, Khabibi, next time you hear, huh? next time you hear the first sound, remain in your place. Ask him, what do you want? Why you run away? Look how stupid this religion is. Mary, an angel came to her. Did she run away? <laughs> and she is a woman. She have a conversation with the, with the angel. She did not run away. Muhammad, he hear the voice of the angel who just said to him two words, Oh, Muhammad, you run away. What a stupid prophet. So next time Muslims, Christian prince, he speak to you, stay still. Huh? See what he want to say to you. Remain in your place. Don't be like Muhammad, who run in his panty between his legs. May Allah bless his panty. By the way, Muhammad claimed, and Aisha she claimed, that when Muhammad he do poo poo, the earth open its mouth and it swallow his poop. Even the poop of Muhammad is missing, not only the Quran. <laughs> no poop. Muhammad, you go to the bathroom, Aisha she get inside. What is the heck? What is the poop? What he was doing here? He poop, he's poopless. Muhammad, he explained to her, he said, don't you know that we, the prophets of Allah, the earth swallow our poops and our piss? That's deep. Muhammad is poopless. With the poopless Muhammad, I leave you. To think about it, so my, you, you might convert to Islam. And by the way, if you are saying I'm lying, challenge me to show you the reference, Muslims, next time I go live. Or now, if you want. And I will show you the reference. Your prophet, he piss, he poop, the earth is swallow his poop. Subhanallah. Like Muhammad sitting in the earth, like, oh, come on, come to me, come to me, poopy, come on. The earth is underneath Muhammad, like, come on, I can't wait. Yes, and the earth is up in its mouth. Muhammad poop is coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's arrived. Oof, that's so tasty. Even Muslim women, she drank his piss. And Muhammad, he said to her, because you drank my piss, the hell fire will not touch you. This is the first piss is anti-fire. Never exists by any technology. Muhammad piss. You go in the fire or not burned? Somebody tell the fire department about it. Poor guys, from time to time, a person here die. Person, oh, what you need to do? Just give them one drop of the piss of the prophet. I mean, the stories of Muhammad is pissing the Muslims off. That's why they keep saying to me, "We don't accept those stories." Anyway, we will be back to you later, and we will laugh again. Thank you for being here. And. <clears throat> until we see you soon maybe tonight or tomorrow God is good so is Jesus and the Muslim who says our book is corrupt he just screwed his God because it is his God responsibility to protect his book it is his God responsibility it's responsibility of God to protect his book not the man a man cannot do it because he is not eternal he's not man cannot do it is the will of God only. So if you are saying to me, you Muslims, that your God Allah, he sent a book to the guy, his name is Isa, and then your stupid God and Musas and etc. 124,000 prophets and he could not protect any of his book except one. And then we find that even the book you have is not exist. That means your God is a potato. And Christian Prince, he have a friar for him. See you soon. So again, God is good, so is Jesus.